Hey everyone, um, sorry for the audio quality of this video. I'm recording at home today. Um, I just wanted to post a short kind of explanation slash response to your modes and technology posts. That's my dog squeaking. Um, so the, the question I posed was what's the relationship between modes and technology? And so Ball, Ball and Charlton uh, make the argument that Writing has always been multimodal. So even if I have something like a eight and a half by 11 essay written in Times New Roman font with one inch margins and double space, the margin and double space are use of, a, of the spatial mode. The font uh, choice and font size are use of the visual mode. And then what's being uh, represented, the words on the page are use of the alphabetic mode. So something even as simple as uh, an essay is multimodal. Uh, the the question and, and the uh, all of the posts sort of reflected this idea. The question sort of um, asked you to consider how new technologies have made more modes available. And in some ways, through cultural use, now we often communicate in ways that are more multimodal than uh, an essay. So, for instance, um, I'm sure like y'all, I look at memes, sometimes I've made memes, uh, more than the text itself, the visual of the meme is the more important unit of meaning making. So more than ever before we deal with multiple modes um, this this uh, form of communication that I've been trying the, the recording of videos is very much kind of an experiment in modes I'm trying to use sound uh, or or the aural uh, and the visual uh, my voice and my face talking um, in order to say what I could say through writing um, but I'm making the choice to use sound uh, and the visual because I'm hoping that'll sort of uh, alleviate or break up um, what tends to be a lot of reading in an online class. And so part of the idea is that our technologies, our, our uh, laptops, the phones in our pocket, uh, social media platforms have made us a more multimodal culture um, what Brooke and Grabble get at is the idea that all writing has always been a technology, and as a technology, uh, writing prompts certain kinds of thinking. And so, related to this idea of audience and purpose that most of you flagged, a choice in mode, and by the same token, a choice in technology, so kind of writerly choices, uh, in a more expanded sense than we might think about. Writerly choices um, in mode and technology can be integral to uh, ensuring that I'm effectively communicating. And so I'll just make the point too that Wasaki talked about uh, the visual design of genres and she talked about that in terms of medium and there's a relationship between medium and mode worth mentioning. So modes are kind of these general resources. So if I said I'm going to use the visual mode, that could look a lot of different ways. That might be font type, that might be the presence of a cartoon, a visual, a diagram, um, color on the page. So all those are instances of the visual mode. So modes are a little bit more general than media. And then the examples I gave, cartoon, color, uh, diagram, visual, those are kind of the media through which we communicate with modes. So modes are these general kind of resources that, that describe uh, what writers bring to bear in the production of messages. Media refer to um, the, the materials, the, the channels for communicating those modes with. Uh, so Another instance, the, uh, the use of sound. Sound can refer to intonation of the voice, so how I'm sort of uh, trying to manipulate my voice to uh, hold attention. Um, sound can also refer to music. Sound can refer to sound effect. Uh, so all those are instances of sound. 
each particular kind names the media through which the mode is communicated. Uh, so I'm happy to kind of play out these ideas through email, but I'll just say that in reading the 16 or 17 discussion board posts, all of them got at this idea that uh, new technologies have made more modes available, and the use of modes and technology are part of trying to respond to rhetorical situations, are part of trying to meet goals and purposes uh, of writing, are part of trying to communicate to audiences more effectively. And that's kind of the general idea that, that this part of, of, the, of, of the course is trying to get at. So, uh, more feedback coming shortly. Uh, and look for midterm grades. I believe those come out next week. Um, once you get those, happy to talk about how it's going and uh, what, if anything, you'd like to improve. Okay, have a good one.